What's up everybody? Welcome back to my Jack and Daxter Let's Play. Today we're going to be going through Mountain Pass and then checking out the next village. I have it paused so that these guys don't fly away. I didn't know if they would or wouldn't, so I just paused it immediately. So let's get on with it. There's actually going to be one uh, thing that we're not going to be able to get. Oops. One uh, power cell that we're not going to be able to get just yet because it's blocked off. We will probably have to do that later. I have to remember how to do it, <laughs> to be completely honest. I'll actually check it out after this, though. And I don't know if I'm going to miss anything through here. I am going to end up failing this again, just so we all know. Okay, I would not have missed anything. So right now we're kind of just like racing the flying lurker things. And I believe you should be able to do all this in one go. Ooh, okay. I was going to have to reset anyways. <laughs> Sorry, not my best performance here, but you know, it's all good. It's not that long of an area, so... Alright, this time we can just take this little shortcut and not turn back around. Yeah, anyways. I don't know if you guys saw it, but those red crate looking things are one-shot kills, so don't touch them. Anything else that blows up, you should be fine. Dude, I just missed a precursor orb. And they're passing! I'm not even going to do that. I don't really want to risk it. Grab that. Okay, I think I need to open up a yellow vent. If I remember correctly. I'd take that slow. Just worry about missing stuff. This is going to be a close race here. Because I don't know if we have to do anything specific or if we just have to get to the end before them. I think we just have to get to the end. Okay, we got all those. Okay, we'll get that in a sec. Let's just finish this real quick. We did it! Okay. We stopped them from blowing up the pad! Let's grab this. <laughs> Alright, that was a quick seven. Right, and then we can hop off and uh, collect this. If I can get up there, nice. Zoom, zoom. Good work. You beat them to the detonator. The red. I'm just gonna cut her off real quick. So, like that one, we're gonna have to get later, but we should be able to uh, move on. Ahead. Go down the teleport gate so we can join you. Actually, does it tell me how many per er, power cells are in this game? Cause it says total there. I don't think it does though. Oh. All right. So we are in volcanic crater. Yeah, I did not remember that name. All right, let's begin. Let's head across here so that we can open up the portal for the green sage and Kira. Now that I actually know her name. <laughs> All right, where's the button? Right there. Ow! Fuck, I always wonder if I'm losing body parts in those things. Holy yakow! The Red Sage's lab looks worse than the blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the Dark Eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the Blue and Red Sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends, you old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. 
You were wrong, Samos. Dark Eagle can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can control Dark Eagle by itself. Even the precursors. Until now, we've do. had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos. Yes, the silos. They will be opened, and all the Dark Eco of the world will be ours. But that's impossible. Only a precursor robot. Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> Wait a minute! That was Gull? The same Gull who's supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your Zoomer heat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. All right, so we met the uh, bad guys of the game goal. Uh, oh, I was just wondering what he was saying, that's why I just stopped. Alright, let's end here. There's some precursor orbs right here, and then we get to talk to these guys. Is there a stuff line here? Oh. Totally did not remember that there. Also took me a second to actually like, cure it. Hey Gordy, duh, I think we got visitors. You think, Willard? Howdy, strangers. Uh, passing through. Uh, us too. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing to see here. Duh, I thought you said this was a priceless gem worth Willard! Actually, we want power cells, not gems. We got four of them. Duh, you want them? What Birdbrain here is trying to say is we may have a few power cells laying around and we might be willing to part with them for... 90 orbs each. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you dug too? Poor bird guy. Uh, we have just enough to get all four, so let's just do that real quick. All right, already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Oh, all right, already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Oh, oh, yeah, I got it this time. Uh, here's a, uh, here's a, a power cell. Yeah, yeah, what he said. That's it, you cleaned us out. No more power cell. I think this bird guy needs a little break from the mine. Get some fresh air. All right, but there's that. I have pretty much no precursor orbs now. But it was worth it. We got four power cells. Pretty easy. All right, first we're going to head this way. Because we did see some of these precursor orbs. And then there is a secret little area down here. Not really secret, but, you know, kind of hidden. And we get another oracle. Seek the pure light, for within its flame, the answers reside. You 
can gain my power cells by bringing 120 precursor orbs for each. He sounds so wise, but then he just makes us pay for stuff. Hey, like, come on, man. Alright. So we got four here, and then those two, and then we got the scout fly, and then we got that little hidden one right there. Um, not gonna lie, I don't remember what that is. I'm sure we'll figure it out just running around here. Um, here, hold on, I need to answer something real quick. All right, I'm back. Uh, where was I? Okay, I need to figure out what that last uh, thing is. I reactivated the gondola. It can take you to Snowy Mountain. Use it whenever you want. Hey guys, by my calculations, it's going to take 72 power cells to fuel the heat shield against the lava on the way to Gaul and Maya Citadel. I think I actually remember what it is. I think in there, there's like this box that's like up in the rocks that you have to shoot out with a uh, yellow eco. And I need to remember how to do that. Oops. All right. So I believe, or it might be behind this one actually, but in one of these caves is the entrance to Spider Cave, which I think is right here. Yeah, Spider Cave. Okay, this counts towards Volcanic Crater, right? Okay, yeah, that did. Is it in here? I actually don't remember where. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Oh, so there's that metal box right there. I think I have to go to Snowy Mountain before I do that. Whatever it's called. I think it's Snowy Mountain. Uh, did I miss anything? Yeah, this. I said I didn't really miss it. But... I remember I used to try to like run across here without a car just because these are so slow. Alright, so once we collect all these, that should be good for this area. And there's two uh, power cells that I cannot get right now. There's that. I'll try to get this so that I can get back onto this car. Let me on! Lava tube. I actually forgot this entrance was right here. I just had to come in here real quick. Uh, let's just see if there's a, uh, a scout fly in there. Because I still need one. I don't know where it is. I will have to look around. I remember that uh, music. Uh, actually, is it right here? No, I would have. I got it before, I think, if it is there. Um, this is how you get up the snowy mountain, which we will take next episode after I find this freaking, uh, scuff eye. Did I leave it in here? Like, what the heck, man? Dude, I just saw you in the tube. Our journey north. Okay, I didn't know if she's gonna say anything useful or not, and that was not useful. Um, is it around this corner? Because I could have missed it. Maya and Gaul have oh, there it is. Okay. Over their heads. Right at the beginning, I could have gotten this before. I missed. And just didn't take my square put there. All right, that's pretty much the last thing we could do here for now. Um, can I get over there? No. Uh, you might be able to actually. There's probably speedruns shot. I don't oh, know. We've got to save the other sages. That was a weird noise for you to make. <laughs> I used to think there's some kind of like glitch in here that you could like climb up to the very top of the building, which I think there might be actually, but I don't know. I don't think I ever did it. I used to be like a uh, glitch hunter as that when I was a kid. Never found one myself, but <laughs> we always do the ones I find on uh, YouTube and stuff. 
But uh, yeah, that'll do for this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.